Hi guys, how are you? Hope you're doing well. Be here as usual. Hello, hello. I have some Ferris wheel press fun, so let's get started. The box is here as usual. I do need to open it prior because there are some things here that are for another subject, so do apologize and I hope you don't mind. Well, let me quickly grab what I don't need to show you now. <laughs> now, first time is I just kind of just put my hand in there, just like kind of closed eye, so okay. Oh, it always wants to hit the camera. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Okay, you don't know how much this excites me. So I'm going to take this out of the box and I'm going to talk to you about these little bundles of, bundles of joy. These three little tiny babies are from a new collection that Ferris Wheel Press released called fairy tales i'll put it on the screen and this is inspired by alice in wonderland you have no idea how much excited i am for this i am just vibrating when i got the email saying telling us about the new collection i screamed i really screamed because i am a huge fan of alice in wonderland like anything themed and just look at the boxes they are gorgeous. Like I need to show you in close-up because this is just gorgeous. So we have three colors and this is a new miniature tiny size. So first we have green with curiosity and it, it here says curiosa and curiosa. If I had a world of my own, everything would be nonsense. Indulge in the iridescent tones inspired by a reality that cannot possibly exist. Don't forget to explore with your heart and mind and heart wide open, which is adorable. It has a little rabbit there. It also has the little uh, information here, just like it's water-based, evenly toned, rich and saturated. And then to experience the full magic of fairy, uh, fairies, uh, fairy tales collection, pair the ink with a medium to broad nibs or deep pens use to your use for your next artist epiphany. Basically. All of these are shimmer inks, so they're telling you to use a brother nib so you get the shimmer in the ink. Ooh, something really cool as well is that each box has information. So this is based green, the sheen is red, the shimmer is blue, shading is low. I'm not exactly sure what that means. I guess I'll find out. Not sure if it means it's just like light, not sure. Hey guys. <clears throat> you can tell this was the first word I said today. <laughs> editing Bia here. Pretty much just woke up and I started editing this video today. <laughs> the day I post this, so yay for time management. Time man yay for time management. <laughs> I cannot even speak yet. Just here to clarify that I did ask the PR team uh, what shading was and this is the reply that I got. Cle shading means the difference in tone within a swatch. So for example, an ink with low shading will have a very consistent tone throughout the whole brush stroke. Whereas an ink with high shading would show a lot of variation in tone in one stroke. So I think this means what I have been calling like separating. A quick thing before we go, I actually have a huge shop update going on on my shop with also some pre-orders on some very adorable wood pins. If you like to check it out, I'm going to put a few images of the shop, up, shop items after I'm done speaking, so please check out my shop, it will really help me out a lot. And yeah, apologies for last week not being a video, that big con killed me. <laughs> and I don't think I quite recovered yet, I still feel kinda brain dead. So apologies for any kerfuffles that I do or say that don't make any sense. With that all said, let's carry on with the video. Tumbling Time Blue, I just love the boxes, they kind of have a pearlescent, iridescent type of thing. This side says the same thing, 
uh, the other like little blurb here are we are all mad here look above look below the, then look again once you tumble down 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 the scene scintillating darkness of the rabbit hole inspiration and fancy await you shimmering and shining maybe in the world of wonderland and then again here is the base is blue the sheen is red shimmer is silver and then shading then we have Ru rubai royal flush so i'm just oh, i'm so excited for this and then the blurb says Take a fancy game of croquet. Take a step into the Queen of Hearts garden where painted roses and creative bloom by the full tree. No need to watch your head at this party. In effect, let it spin away in a flourish of shimmering winds. Ugh, so good. Then base red, sheen yellow, shimmer gold and shading low. So we have basically a different type of sheen. I think red, red, no, okay, so these two have red sheen yellow sheen yeah and then blue glitter silver glitter and gold glitter i'm so excited to open these guys like they're so pretty they're so good they're pretty i oh, i really love fairy, like alice themed water things i'm like mm, i love it okay so i'm going to start with the green i think it's the one that eh, we'll see maybe i might like it but it's green so we'll see i'm quite curious to see Ooh. Oh, they're so small. Ooh, ooh, oh my god, they're so small. Okay, it's kind of levitating, which is really cool. It's so small. Like, look at my hand. It's so small. Like, hand for scale. I have small hands. I have to go and get the bigger size so you can see. It's like, it f I can kind of close my hand on it. It's so small. It's so small. It's so tiny. And yeah, it has Ferris will press. It's so shiny you can see my window. It says Ferris will press and has little stars all around it. It's so pretty. Then it fades to 20 mil. Oh, it's so cute. Can I even see the sparkles in it? I honestly cannot see any sparkles so far. It just kind of seems green. They are really, uh, really shy in the jar, so gonna put that here let's go with the tumbling time blue the box open okay i really like how they package it packages it. it's really safe in there like it's kind of oh 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 <laughs> it's kind of floating there see so it's pretty secure like it's kind of floating there so the packaging is pretty nice oh i see sparkles already can you see that can you see that you can tell sparkle. It's so small. It's so small. Oh my god, it's so small. <laughs> Excuse the high energy in this video. It's just so small. I got this a few days ago and I just... I was dying to open these. And I didn't. I was a very good girl. I need to... Sorry, motorbikes. Just like, look at the detail. It's so gorgeous. I honestly... Oh. Honestly, I, I, I don't know if they're going to do more fairy tales, but if they do, I might freak. Because <laughs> I'm a sucker for anything that's fairy tale based. And especially this size, this is absolutely adorable. Oh, you can see the sparkle there. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay, so this is the blue. Just look at this small, this so small like that meme schmoll i think that's why i'm saying that like that schmoll <laughs> okay and now finally ruby royal flush yeah i really like how they protect it it's really really nice oh Ooh, it looks like blood <laughs> oh gosh it's so gorgeous Oof. And because of the glitter, it looks like really, really bright. It's so goddamn pretty. And the bottom, it says just like the initials. Oh my gosh. It's, it's too pretty. It's honestly not fair. <laughs> They're so goddamn cute. 
This is too cute. Like, they're so tiny, which I really appreciate because I'm... Ah, uh, guys, if you see, if you saw my face full press drawer, it's just, it's so bad. <laughs> I barely have any space left, so when I saw they were round, I was scared, but then when I saw the size, I was like, ooh, they still fit on my drawer, but barely. <laughs> they're so adorable. Okay, I need to get, um, oop, okay, Lukash, calm <laughs> Lucas just decided to join the party as usual and shake the whole table. Okay, I'm going to get a small, a bigger bottle so you guys can see the size comparison. Lucas, hey, <laughs> get your butt out of here. Good, get your butt out of here. Why? Why every time? Why every time? Get out. <laughs> Come on. Oh my god, no. <laughs> Lucas. Chaos has been installed. Okay, we're good. Nothing broke. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I went to pick up this jar of Dusk and Bloom. So this is their 80, 85 milliliters. So quite a lot more. And just so we can see the size difference, this is quite huge. I never ran out of one of these. They hold so much ink. Like the big boy, small boy. <laughs> they are so cute, oh my God. Yeah, I quite enjoy this size. Oh, and they do just like, I love the jars that they come, like the bigger ones. They just look so nice, but once again, in terms of storage, it's a lot and I don't have a lot of space. So I, that's why I love the flat new flasks. I love them, but this is so adorable. <laughs> kind of wants to be a like tree ornament <laughs> for Christmas, but yeah, just size comparison. They are, it's a papa bear and a baby bear. It's adorable and I'm incredibly, incredibly, happy about small things small miniature things are just adorable and this is no exception at all quite excited to see how they look i imagine they are quite dreamy since they do have a sheen and a shimmer quite excited and curious curious and curious haha <laughs> yeah oh you can really tell the shimmer there let me let me do that and then Turn them. Three, two, one. Yeah. This one's kind of shy, but I think it's because the shimmer is blue. Don't know why. Maybe it's just not as visible, but yeah. This is a quite classic color trio in terms of like, just like hue, like green, blue, and red. But I'm quite excited. It should give me a bunch of possibilities and I can definitely do roses. So, oh, I think I have an idea now. <laughs> I think I'm having an idea and I definitely want to use, uh, I mean, I usually use brushes so that you, you will see the shimmer anyway, but I, yeah, I definitely want to be able to see the shimmer. So yeah, let's Maybe let's do a couple swatches quickly because I am just so curious to see how these look. So yeah, let me go grab, let me go grab all my supplies. See if Lucas doesn't jump up again. <laughs> I did grab a brush for each color, so no contamination happens. I know that's something I sometimes do and yeah, I don't want that to happen this time, especially with all the glitter happening. Let's see. A little palette thingy. Let's start with the red, maybe. I'm quite curious about it. Oh boy. Didn't even bring a dropper. I drop it with my brush. It's so small. Okay. I'm gonna wet my brush so it fits in there. It's a very small entry. Oh, it's quite. You cannot see that. Wow. It's quite deep. And I do hope I do have, I think all the glitter is down there. Wait a sec. I need to shake it. I think all the glitter was down. 
since the glitter is so fine, it just like quickly goes away. Okay, it's so small. So small. Go. Oh gosh. <gasps> that is, you cannot see that. Oh my gosh, why am I such a bad YouTuber? Okay, but that is absolutely stunning. It's like full on rose color. What's happening? Why is the camera just like betraying me? Stop. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm going to do another swatch right beside it because you did not see any of that and you need to see that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Why am I such a bad YouTuber? Honestly. <laughs> okay, here we go. Take two. <laughs> just as gorgeous Ugh, why am i so bad it definitely looks like a rose and gosh uh the sparkle is kind of not there right now but it might in some of these inks is like when it's dry that you can really tell it's there it's it really tainted the water like that's just pink lemonade now that is potent I do what, like to do those little drip drips so you can see. Yeah, the, good thing I got a different brush. Hopefully it does not get too bad with the, um, the water. Let's do blue now because I want to. Shake it, shake it, shake it and drop it in the little thing here. So shake it well. Okay, this one is... Okay, that one's all... was on there. Alright. Okay. I think we have some sparkles in there. I think I managed to grab some. Might as well just hold it. Ooh, okay. Very... Reminds me the base of like jelly bean blue. Uh, it's like a very deep blue. Oh, it's potent. It just turned the water purple. Yeah, that's is this is what I should have done, because <laughs> that's what I usually like to see if they like separate. Again, the sparkles, the sparkles are more in the pan, I think. Uh, can you even see that? They're kind of there. I think you can see it. Let me do some drops here or there. I think I can already see the sheen yellow here on my perspective. So I'm quite excited to see the sheen on this one. Okay, so we have the blue. Rinse the brush really, really well. These are potent, like this is grape juice now <laughs> and it's really really dark and it does have some sparkles like floating okay let's go for the blue already has some red sheen there e can I do this without messing it up e green okay let's see are you gonna be a yucky green or a good green let me let's find out I guess Mm, not my favorite type of green, I think. It's very foresty, but I think that this is like a green that's very much asso associated with like royalty, I think. Like a deep, deep green. Let's go. It's not bad, <laughs> but not my... Not my favorite type of green. As most of you might know by now, if you know me, <laughs> this is not my green of choice, but I'll say one thing. They look freakishly vibrant. <laughs> like my camera is not the most like vibrant thing ever. These look neon on the camera. <laughs> so these are a vibrant my gosh they are quite vibrant definitely oh my gosh 
Okay, I think first like opinions, the royal rhubarb bib is definitely my favorite. And the sparkles are so so simple, like so subtle. I think I definitely either did not shake these well enough or they're just the type that they will come through once this is dry, which I hope they do. And yeah, the sheen is there. Let me film on my phone so you can tell the sheen is already there on the yellow. You have already a red sheen there. Uh, this was supposed to be a red sheen as well, I think. Yeah, it's not there yet. Kinda, kinda there, kinda there. It might probably just let, like be there. But you can see these are vibrant. Oh my gosh, they're so vibrant. You can kind of tell the sparkles on the road here. Sparkles on the blue a little bit there. A little bit. And then on the green, it kind of wants to have some sparkles over there. But very, very little. So, okay, already you can see the sheen. And I'm going to just like give them some time to dry. Might do some swatches in the middle, in between. And I also want to sketch out some things. But first opinions is that these are ex like extremely vibrant stupidly vibrant i just want i wanted to say like stupidamente vibrant which is in portuguese like stupid stupidly vibrant they're like wow in your face which i love i all i'm all about like vibrant colors and i think i kind of already have an idea on what to do for these which i'm quite excited to do and i do hope it turn out turns out well. I'm going to let this dry and I'll insert some clips and I'll hopefully see you on the demo art. So you can probably tell by the length of the video that I ended up not doing a demo art. This video was already too long, but here you can see that these inks actually do their best performance when they are dry, which is good, right? When they're, it's the biggest state, if that makes sense. The shimmer is really, really on there when it's dry and the sheen is just chef's kiss. These are so gorgeous. I honestly am shooketh. They are just too pretty. So I decided to do a second session of swatches a bit closer so you can have just a bit more fun. I do love these so much and I am so excited to start working on the demo art. Hopefully next week's video will be it and I'm planning something kind of complicated so I'll try my best to film it in a more aesthetic way. Enjoy the video montage of just beautiful ink. I am sure I will be enjoying editing this so I hope you do too. Don't forget that you can use my code BBISCOART10 for 10% off your next Ferrisville Press purchase and you also help out my creative journey. Please check out my new shop update as well. I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. As always, I appreciate your comments as well. Do let me know which color is your favorite because I'm just really tied. I actually love them all because the sheen make every single color just magical. I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye.